Uh, once again, the YouTuber that nobody's ever heard of, Nella Rose, dragged RGB News superstar Nigel Farage into a blazing row in the jungle last night, this time about cultural appropriation. What? If a white person has a black accent, that's considered to be a crime. You know, they should be cancelled. It depends it. in what context. If you're taking a piss, then you're taking a piss. But if you're not, then you're not. So you can't, it sort of, sort of can't win territory? No, nah, it just depends on the context. You know, it's right, rather like, you know, you go to a fancy dress party, dress or something, and now the press will say it's cultural appropriation. Like what? Because if you oh, were to do blackface, then it dress, is wrong. Dress as a Mexican or whatever it is, you know. Didn't realise before I started doing this segment that apparently I struggle to say the word appropriation, but there we go. Well, if dressing up as a Mexican is such an evil crime, then maybe Nella should have a word with Anton Deck, who dons sombreros and brightly coloured shirts to promote their ITV Saturday Night Takeaway show back in 2021. I think we can all agree that's disgusting. And while she's at it, bring in fellow campmate and Ramona-in-chief, Fred Sriex, Shaking his arm. Look at that's disgusting. Look at that. What a what a disgrace. Shaking his maracas here with Gordon Ramsay and Gino De Campo also on ITV in 2018. Oh, it makes you sick, doesn't it? So after round two of Nella, Nigel versus Nella, is she right that it's offensive to use somebody's culture as a fancy dress costume? Let me know your thoughts by emailing me gbviews at gbnews.com. Tweet me at gbnews. And while you're there, go and vote in our poll. I'll bring you the results very shortly. But to debate this now. I'm joined by former BLM activist Iman Aiton and the deputy leader of UKIP, Rebecca Jane. Both of you, thank you very, very much. Uh, Rebecca, I will start with you. Is cultural appropriation offensive? Does it exist? What is it? You mean wearing fancy dress? Is it cultural? Uh, essentially, no, Patrick, I think right. is what I'm trying to say. So absolutely not. You know, if I go and walk down the street today and I've got a garland of of garlic and onions around my neck and I'm clutching a baguette. I don't understand why anybody would ever take any kind of offence to that. You know, when we were talking about, obviously, the Mexican um, scene when it was being discussed in the jungle. I don't understand why everything has to be offensive today. Why can it not be seen as a sign of appreciation? If I'm going down the street with a baguette in one hand, it's because I love the French. And if I'm dressing up as a Mexican, it's because I flipping love tequila. Um, so, no... I don't think it is. I think it's gone too far. And I think, again, this is another very divisive topic. Mm. OK, uh, Iman, people are too easily offended, apparently. No. So, Rebecca, I appreciate your sentiment. I actually agree with you to an extent. So in terms of what you're saying, if you decide you want to walk around with a baguette and, and, and appreciate the French, well, we're not taking into consideration racial prejudice, right? So that's a white person acknowledging another white person and being happy for one culture that's white and another culture that's white. We're talking about black people here, okay? We're talking about Mexicans here, okay? And what we're actually talking about, just to genuinely answer your question as to why you said you don't understand, I'll give you the answer. If you decide you're going to dress up in a Mexican hat or, a, or African garments, you need to take in consideration that those individuals have a certain life. And so what you don't have to contend with is the racial prejudice and the bias that goes along with that culture. That's why. So I'll give you an, an example. If you decide you're going to claim something as your own, so this is an example of cultural appropriation. If you're going to claim something as your own, as, a, as an example, being a white woman, you've got lovely, beautiful blonde hair. I've done many wigs, like your hair. You look gorgeous, by the way done that so if you decide i'm going to if i if i'm going to do cane rows as a white woman okay cane rows right you see it as many people would as french braids right you see it as french braids but the truth is there's no such thing white people didn't do their hair in cane rows it's due to french or france colonizing africa and colonizing. I mean, it is, it is just a hair so I mean, this is where we talk about. I'll come Patrick. back to you. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. Can I just finish? No, you've done quite a lot here. I kind of do get please. your point. Right, Rebecca. No, no I'll come let me finish it. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Let me finish my point. No, well, you've, you've done on a bit I now. I will come back to you. No, no, no. Right? We're going to waste Rebecca. time. We're going to waste time. You're not going to, you're not going to win this. No. Let me finish my right, look, Rebecca, just so, talk. I'm having this dominated by somebody who's taking pages. Rebecca, respond to that, please. 
and not this is the problem that we face is that there's always somebody there's looking to win and there's always somebody yeah. trying to make an argument you're not trying to have a conversation with me i was enjoying myself listening to what you were saying until you went off on your little rant of a tangent i okay. actually really enjoy listening and trying to understand the point that we're having the point that i made is that i don't understand why beyonce can go around with blonde hair and blue eyes and that's not offensive but if i wore cornrows it actually it. would you be okay cultural there we go come back to that the difference then. between cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation and that's what i'm trying to explain no, no, to you rebecca please hear me out i'm not even trying to rant i'm actually trying one to at a time iman go on you ask the, ask the question genuinely thank you patrick thank you i appreciate it Genuinely, Rebecca, you asked the question. I'm genuinely trying to give you the answer. I get it. I fully get it. When black people go around, walking around with blonde wigs, I did it during Black Lives Matter. You can find that picture on Google right now. This is a difference between appreciation, which can be steeped when it pertains to black people in terms of uh, internalized racism and, and not feeling good enough. And this is why we resort to using your hair. But that's a different, that's an aside, right? We're actually talking about why black people can get away with it. The reason why is because of appreciation, it, which is your original point. And this is why I actually preface my whole entire soliloquy that you said was just a rant by saying, yeah, Rebecca, that. you're right. There's a difference between appreciation and appropriation and as long as yeah, you but respect that culture, okay but, uh, but as long that as you difference as far as i can tell as far as i can tell it, no it is my show is not, right and i am going to talk about this now because as far as i can tell the difference between appreciation and appropriation is that mm -hmm. a white person can't show cultural appreciation rebecca wrong Wrong. I think, I no, that's, think that's, that's what you just been saying. Wrong. Wrong. No, 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 no. no. Patrick, Hang on one second. You're not having the conversation. How can you? Go on, Rebecca. Can somebody on, Rebecca. please cut a mic off? So why on please. earth? No, genuinely, I'm asking you a question. Yeah. So why on earth, if you've not had a conversation with somebody, you don't know their reasons for wearing cornrows, how can you decide that they are wrong for doing it and they are racist if you've not even had the conversation? Okay, so I'll, I'll answer your point. So I'm actually talking about a lived experience of, of someone who actually really condemns black people and black culture, but continues to wear cane rows and decides to call them French braids. And she doesn't, because she, she has a level of ignorance, and, and let's not be afraid of that word, she has a level of ignorance. She didn't realise that she's actually culturally, or sorry, appropriating someone's culture, right? So that's a specific lived experience. So that's just one point. But let's just go back to the original point, right? The original point is, if you haven't had, if you haven't had rather a lived experience of being a Mexican person and being condemned for your garments, it's really hypocritical for you to be stood there as a white person during Halloween wearing that same garment because you are the same person potentially that is saying these people need to leave my country in the UK or they need to leave my country in the US. You are the same person that doesn't understand the prejudice that they have to go through being a Mexican wearing that hat. So uh, can, I just, it, can I just I'll ask whether or not, Iman, can I just ask whether or not you're actually you're, you're being a little bit overly stereotypical here because you described, you, you described uh, Britain and France as being white countries, whereas many people would regard them as being incredibly multicultural countries. And if you believe articles, if you believe, ar if you believe articles that you read Patrick. in the BBC, you know, we've Patrick. we've had uh, black people here since Roman times, for goodness sake. Yeah. You also appear to be making the insinuation Same that you know, all Mexican people walk around them. wearing sombreros, which which isn't true. So are you not a little bit guilty of cultural appropriation there and maybe maybe no. stereotyping people? No, no, I just I said it. No whilst interrupting you several times, I do apologise. I keep doing that because I get so impassioned when people are incredibly wrong on national TV. I'll just repeat. No, not even in the slightest. I made it very, very, very clear. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. I made it very clear. In terms of cultural appropriation, it's very clear. And when you say things like, I don't understand it or I'm, I'm, I'm generalising no, you need to be clear on something when you can I, can not, I just politely, you're not in a position. Can I just politely if suggest you're not in a position of, of, of right, having look, prejudice thrust upon you, you have no right to wear their hat and their right. garments. 
Uh, it really right, is fine. simple now, as just, that. It's, I'm just going to make a point simple. now, because I've had you on several times, Iman, and I would love to have you back on, right? But perhaps, mm -hmm. and it's just something maybe for mm -hmm. us all to reflect on here, perhaps if after every single thing you say, you then have to mm -hmm. clean that up because you think that someone has completely misunderstood you or completely misrepresented it, maybe it's not everybody else's fault. But there we go. That was Deputy... You've Lee, gone off on a complete there, Rebecca tangent. Jane, and that was BLM activist Iman Aiton. Now, who do you agree with after round two of Nigel versus Nella? Is she right that it's offensive to use somebody's culture as a fancy dress costume? James on Twitter says, just another example of Gen Z looking for something. Anything to be offended by, Nigel was being totally rational. Alan on Twitter says, surely it's worse to deny a culture exists. At least dressing up in traditional clothes from different cultures helps to educate and open up discussion. For me on this, can I just say, I think it's very much a race thing, right? So I think it's one thing like wearing a sombrero. It will be another thing, you know, painting your face or doing something along those lines. But Shaz on Twitter says, I'm a celeb, I've turned into a political programme. I used to watch it to escape the news. Now I have to say, Nella is talking nonsense. I do massively appreciate the irony there, Shaz, of you currently watching a news programme whilst you say that. And thank you very, very much. But your verdict is now in. 95% of you say that it's not offensive to use somebody's culture as a fancy dress costume. 5% of you say that it is.